Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is another video talking about the settings as we go through the settings app and different settings in the setting app in Windows 10. Once again, we are looking at settings that are available mostly for the May 2019 and November 2019 update. These settings might be available on earlier versions, but might be in a different place. We are going to talk about power and sleep options and what they are and what they mean. So go to your settings, either by the quick actions on the bottom right and click all settings. You can go into the start menu and click the settings gear. Go into the system tab and on the left side you will have power and sleep. So this brings you two simple options that are uh, options for running on battery power or when you're actually plugged in. Of course, if you have a desktop, most of these options are only plugged in options. If you have a laptop, you only have the battery power options and the plugged in options. Why it's nice to check this out because sometimes there are things that could be annoying. Sometimes there are things you might want to change. So for example, I use a laptop. And one of the things that annoys me the most when you keep the settings at the regular settings is that very often the screen goes dark too fast. You know, after a minute or two, screen goes dark. I don't like that. I like the screen to stay on as long, you know, for at least a minimum amount of time before it actually goes dark. Uh, of course, there are some reasons for all of this to happen. And one of them is, um, of course, safe power if you're on battery. But another one is also to make sure that your screen uh, can, you know, live as long as possible. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is that your screen, whether it's a laptop screen, desktop screen, um, external screen, one of the major problems with screens is that they dim over time. That means after months and years of use, the same level is not as bright as it was in the years past because that's the way screens wear out they slowly dim the leds will dim over time or if you have an older laptop that still has a fluorescent display well that also dims over time so to preserve that one of the things is to turn off the screen after a certain time when you're not using the pc and of course on battery power it will save you an enormous amount of power on the battery and make that battery last much longer if the screens uh, actually uh, will go dark when you're not using the PC but still actually want to uh, use the PC not turn it off so options available the screen on battery power turn off the screen after and you have a set amount of time that you can choose from of course at the bottom is never if that's what you want now on battery power, I always set 10 minutes. Why? Because if for some reason I'm distracted, for some reason I'm doing something else, well, I want the screen to turn off at some point so that my battery lasts as long as possible. When plugged in, well, I actually have extended the one plugged in to 15 minutes. Because 15 minutes, you know, sometimes you're distracted, you're taking a call, you're doing something else. You don't necessarily want the screen to go dark uh, as soon, you know, after only a few minutes, because sometimes it could be kind of annoying. So by putting 15 minutes, in my case, it's fine. Once again, you click on the box, and at the bottom is never if that's what you wish to have. The other options for power in sleep is sleep. What is sleep? Sleep is a way that your PC will kind of shut down the uh, important things of your computer, but not actually turn off. And the reason why sleep exists is because sleep makes your PC come back much faster than having to power it back on and, you know, restart Windows. Sleep doesn't actually completely put your, your laptop in zero state. It keeps a little bit of power so that it actually can still keep what's in RAM memory so that when you power back up, you're still working and are still where you are. There's a little bit of power for certain circuits that still uh, need power to actually maintain a minimum state of uh, 
your computer being able to work and come back online as fast as possible. Now, the sleep options are available for two, um, like in my case, for a battery and for once again plugged in. Now, I never want the computer to go to sleep when I'm plugged in. Why? Because apart from the fact that, yes, I do want the screen to go dark to preserve it, it doesn't really stress much your PC to keep it on when it's plugged in. Your PC could typically work 24 hours a day, and it's probably going to still work for years and years. So I don't really, I, usually I don't want my PC to go to sleep. Uh, when I'm on uh, the regular plugged in. Of course, once again, you had all the options available from minutes to hours. Never is my, my uh, plugged in status, but if you want to save power, because we got to say it, if you're plugged in and you keep it on, it does drain power all the time. So yes, it could show up on your electricity bill that your bill is a little higher because of that. On battery power, that's a different thing. Once again, to save battery, you might want it. So, for example, here it says never. I actually will change that to, um, say, one hour. I don't want it to go to sleep too fast, but I do want it to go to sleep if I'm on battery power because of, um, to save, once again, the battery life. So, of course, if I have the computer go to sleep, it's going to preserve my battery. And if I can't plug in, well, of course, I'll have more time if I actually forget that the PC is on, for example. So on battery power, it's not a bad idea to have it go to sleep after a certain time. But plugged in, never. One last option also that I want to talk about, sleep mode. There are, and I get comments about that regularly here on the channel, there are a lot of PCs and a lot of hardware that have a hard time coming back from sleep. If that is the case, if your PC goes to sleep, doesn't want to wake up or wakes up, but it doesn't work or the internet doesn't work or it's acting weird, then you might want to change this setting to never. Um, there are other options, of course, uh, updating the BIOS, updating your drivers, stuff like that, if you do want to try sleep. But in some cases, there are PCs where sleep is just doesn't work. In that case, just put never in this option so that it doesn't go to sleep uh, in case you don't use it. If you like my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.